Loki introduced us to the Time Variance Authority, implying that we're going to see variants, as we have, of plenty of things in the MCU. Which brings us to all those different types of Lokis we've seen so far. So let's go into a little bit more of a breakdown of each type that we've seen so far, and where exactly they come from. When it comes to the multiverse, it's vast and infinite. So it's really no surprise that we've seen quite a few different versions of Loki already be mentioned in the series. So the first one I want to talk about is this one right here. Variant L8914. Now, you look at this Loki, this is perhaps the most different version of that character. It doesn't even look like Tom Hiddleston. His outfit is completely different. He's got this full beard approach to him that we haven't seen our Loki ever have. And his crown seems to be made of possible bones? Yeah, so uh, far different than what we got in our universe. Next up, let's talk about variant L6792. Now this, you can see the Asgardian classic outfit, I would say, that uh, we've seen throughout the film so far. But we see that he's all blue here. This is the obvious implication that he's sort of uh, not hiding the whole frost giant thing and he's embraced it and become a Loki that's very comfortable with the way that he was born. Variant L6792, which is Hulk Loki by the look of it. Um, This one was the one that really caught me the most because it's so strikingly different than what we've had before. I mean, he's huge. Like, he looks jacked up. Now also, it has the same labeling as the Frost Giant one, which that's the big question right here. How is there two variants in the same one? Hmm, maybe they'll explore this in the future. Next up is variant L1247. This right here is a take on a real world event that happened here in our world. And the actual Marvel conceptual artist confirmed that this was a riff on the Tour de France trophy that was stolen in 2018. So if you're wondering who stole it, Loki's the man. And our final variant here is L7803. Now this, this is obviously just a Viking Loki. Something that you could expect to see in Viking traditional lore, or even something like God of War. You could see an appearance like this. I absolutely love this one. It's my favorite one of the bunch, just because it's very traditional. Even though the horns, the Vikings never did that. It's all um, exaggerated. But hey, this fits in my opinion and looks great. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. I want to trip through every variant we have and uh, what my thoughts are on it and how it relates to something in the real world.